Welcome back. Time now for 814 Good Moments of the Day. Thanks to our friends at McMullen Furniture. I wish we had <laughs> a way to get everybody on camera eating Everyone's all these hot, hot dogs. Mike Doyle devoured his. And we haven't gotten any And we yet. haven't gotten any yet. Uh, Rebecca, your good <laughs> news story of the day. Okay, Jordan, an inspiring story out of Missouri. A woman without hands and wow. legs creating beautiful paintings. This artist is not letting her disability keep her from doing what she loves. Take a look. I'll has the ability to speak when I can't put words down, when words fail me, it can be a way to express myself. Minda Cox is a 31-year-old artist in Bolivar, Missouri. I have loved art. I love um, painting and I love drawing. I always have. But it wasn't until I was in my late teens when I started to study it more professionally, more seriously. But her method is a little unorthodox. I was born with um, without arms or legs. Minda was born in India but was put up for adoption soon after. My mother adopted me. My mother is an Episcopal priest. She's a single mom of five adopted girls. In my mother's house, we all had various disabilities, our sis my sisters. We just never were allowed to use our disabilities as an excuse as to not do, interact and do things for ourselves. We were encouraged to be very independent. Which led her to believe she could do anything. When I was little, I, I loved doing art, but I also loved, you know, ice skating and I wanted to be a cook and a dancer and a doctor and all of that. But a lot of that stuff wasn't really practical. So she decided to seriously pursue art. People are always curious about how I eat, how I draw, how I brush my hair, how I put on my own makeup, or how I dress myself. But when they're looking at my art, they're looking at my art. They're not just looking at, oh, this disabled person with no arms and no legs. And I work a lot with um, pencil and um, pen. I learned to really control watercolor and I really fell in love with it. I put the paintbrush between my arm and my chin. The color and the paint, it, just watching it flow and watching it blend can do a really beautiful thing. Though Minda has to go through life having to do things a little differently than most, she says most of the time she still has a positive outlook. Of course I have struggles but my life isn't full of just pain and sorrow and I like to reflect that. It's very um, important to me that people understand that I don't want to be set apart from the rest of the world. I want them to see other people with disabilities and not be afraid of them. Now, Minda is painting cards for Valentine's Day. She says because there are so many bad things in the world, she wants to remind people that's not all there is. People need to be reminded that there is love in the world. That's how I would like people to do is approach people with disabilities and, and know that, hey, we are just people. We want to be accepted like every other person. We want to be seen for our, our abilities as well as our disabilities. Wow. That's amazing. The, to be able to do the, that great art like that. Oh. And, uh, and she said people need to be reminded that there's love in the world. Mm. That's absolutely amazing. I want one of those Valentine's Day cards. Wink, wink. No, I'm just <laughs> what is <laughs> happening on this show? What is well, happening? I love wink the Wink at message. the viewers. Don't wink at me. Wink, wink at them. Wink. Thank you. I love Jeez the message. Louise. I love the art. And you know what? Nothing is better than saying you're not going to let something hold you back. Exactly. Uh,